Alright, what's up guys, Robert here, and today I'm just going to be bringing you a quick tutorial on colour correction, because a lot of you have asked for that as well. So, um, I've basically, I've just got in Photoshop here, I've got a picture that I took while I was in America this year, and I'm just going to show you how to simply add colour to this to make it look nicer. Um, it doesn't have to just be done with um, photos, it can be done with anything, any custom graphics. Um, so I'm just going to make sure my colours are black and white again. Um, one way you can do this is uh, if you duplicate the layer by hitting Control or Command and J, then just selecting the blend mode as overlay. You can see that if you lower the opacity, that adds more depth to the image straight away. Um, soft light also does the same, but on a bit of a lower scale. So if I stick with overlay and lower the opacity a bit, you can see that adds depth. Um, so if you click on this little semicircle, you've got brightness, levels, curves, and exposure. They can all be used um, to like play around if you increase and decrease those a bit. Um, they add a bit more depth, but I, that's just that's sort of simple knowledge. Basically, what I, I wanted to go into gradient maps a little bit. So if you click on gradient map, the default one is black and white, which you can see makes the image grayscale. Um, if you click reverse, it sort of gives it a negative effect. And you can just play around with um, different gradients, like these sort of give it a very different effect, but you never really want to go for too strong an effect. And um, you can set the blend modes again to overlay and soft light, which are the two I use most frequently just to give it a nicer effect. But I still don't really um, use deep gradients like that. Now, this pack that I got from Sherb, or Sherbet Melon, um, if I just go here, pack three, um, this is colour correction pack here, it actually has 10 gradient maps in it and they are all really really good for colour correction so I'll just, I've got them all preloaded here, um, they've all got names so this one is Transformers, you've got Modern Warfare, Vintage Blue, Red, Moon, Mystical Woods um, and so on but you can, also, you can see that just defaultly they give it a different effect and what you want to do is, I'm just going to go on Modern Warfare 3 and you want to play around with the um, the sort of, I can't remember what they're called, blend modes now. And um, so if I go to overlay, uh, you can see that gives it a nice green effect, which is nice because the Statue of Liberty is green. So it kind of gives the whole surrounding, gives it a bit more of a, I can't explain it really, but um, it gives it a nicer feel. Go to soft light as well. And um, yeah, you can play around with that. So as you can see on this background that I made, I actually added a gradient map and it makes the whole thing a bit more colourful. You can't really see it here, but um, yeah, if you look in detail, it makes it gives it a bit more depth. And yeah, so for colour correction, that's basically just about it. You can add, like, if you create a new layer, just go to the gradient tool and select a green, then you can just sort of draw across like that. And then if you set the blend mode to screen, that also makes it a bit brighter. And um, you can just play around with things like hue or saturation. So there's no specific effects because it varies quite a lot between kind of different images. But this is what you want to play around with and just sort of, um, yeah, so just sort of see what's right for the image that you want to create. So I'll erase. Um, if you just paint on black onto a gradient map or hue or saturation, it's like a layer mask, so it will only affect certain areas. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.